Hello everyone, I am AJ and I'm here with another episode of Fallout New Vegas Modded Hardcore. In this series, I will play Silver Tongue Sego, which means I'm likable in a person, but you know, I also eat people. So that's a thing. Now, last episode, I slept with Benny, but did not kill him so that I can have the opportunity to crucify him later. Very, very worth it. I'm here with balls. He's creepy. That's nice. He talks. Very creepy. Wait, look, look at the creepy stuff he says. I'll rip someone's throat out. Yay. Creepiness. I also got the book that Vanessa needed. So maybe we'll work on that. I'm not sure I'm ready to leave New Vegas just yet. Seeing as it's so pretty here. With my Vegas restored thingy. Are you okay? Good morning. Yes. Now let me talk to you about this. Got a problem? Eh, may as well. This already happened. That already happened, Vanessa. Great. Let me take a look at it. Let's see here. It talks about a German robot. German, eh? His name is ironically creepy. I cannot wait to see this. Okay. We still need a heart. Shall we just kill someone? Oh, yes, yes. Let's go steal a heart. I wish I hadn't skipped through that. Should we check the kitchens of the Ultra Bucks' restaurant? It's strange. I don't know how to say this, but I feel hope. I had forgotten my feeling of having hope. To imagine a future that would stop overnight. It took me three years to get back here to Nevada. And I felt the symptoms of it. Things in the flesh get used to everything. Even the worst. Nature is surprising. Okay. Resignation comes gradually, but it's barely noticeable. Okay. Today, I feel weird. I think I'm happy. Okay. That's all well and good, but let's go get you a new heart. Because the Super Tongue Psycho doesn't have any friends. The Super Tongue Psycho does whatever she needs to achieve her goals. For now, these goals are vague. Mostly involve eating people and finding things that I want. But soon I shall have a goal. If it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. And that goal will be We've mine. Stuff we're not even and everyone we have with me here will simply be tools to achieve that goal. Because I am a freaking terrible person. The Silver Tongue Psycho. Boot lag. Have I ever seen that clothing before? Or is that clothing new? I think it might be new. Hooray! Gunfire! Somebody just died. That makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Stupid gate. I should have teleported to it. I mean, fast traveled. 
Don't do it, mate. Don't do it. Am I wearing my hat? Yes, I am. I've got my axe because I'm an axe murderer. Alright, time to go to the Ultra Lux. And let's Ultra Lux the shit out of this place. Uh, yes. Also, I think this time I'm gonna side with the cannibals. It makes sense, seeing as I'm a cannibal. It does, doesn't it? It does make sense. So let's go get that human heart that I so richly deserve and desire. I think there should be an easy way to get it. By starting the Beyond the Beef quest. Won't have to sneak any sneaky anywhere to get it. Beg your pardon, but could I tr Sure, here you go. My deepest apologies for the slightest inconvenience. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. But we simply can't have we Thank you, talking backpack. <clears throat> well, I should get some whiskey while I'm here. You got any, uh, whiskey? Welcome to Top Shelf. Blah, 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 blah. Whiskey. It's not for me. It's for a friend. Okay. Oh, now we're talking. Here we go. Sure got a whole lot of stuff on me. A lot of variety of items. It's because of all that clothing I bought at Mick and Ralph's. I just couldn't resist. Plus, I had to buy money from him, otherwise I'd over sell everything. Oh, right, right, right. I gotta talk to Thunder Dad over here. I don't know. why. I don't know why I called him that. Don't ask. Because I don't have an answer. Now do I? Beg your pardon, stranger. Blah, 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 blah. No, I haven't. <sighs> blah, blah, blah. You lost your son? Blah, 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 blah. Let me help you find your son. I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least one good eye at this point. There'd be a lot of money in it for you if you can get him back to me safe. And if he ain't, you can bet I'll pay for the names of the sons of bitch. His son went missing. Yeah. That's all you need to know. Really, it is. I will show more of this quest, though. Because I haven't done this scenario of it yet. Very exciting stuff. I think I need to skip out a little less on the... Secret stuff. How may I be of service, ma'am? I need to... Tell people more about... What's going on, even the vanilla. That's what I'm looking for, vanilla. Hotel room? Okay, it's the other side, I guess. I have to talk to Marie Joie. I'm sorry, Marjorie. Nope, not the holy land of the celestial dragons. Marjorie. Welcome to the Ultra Lux. I do hope it ex Looking for someone who went missing here recently. This again? I thought this was all settled. I answered every one of that investigator's questions to his satisfaction and gave all the help I could. Okay. I know our reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. How some people can't get over it is beyond me. Okay. For the last time, the White Bluff Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. It's written in the charter. Um. I didn't think that you did until now, so... Now, didn't I already tell you that we don't do that sort of thing? We do not engage, though we haven't always been the White Glove Society. There was another time, a dark time, but that's all changed now. We've evolved past such base impulses since settling into our new home. Okay, I shouldn't say that. See you later, indeed. Now I go back and talk to Mortimer. Gee, I wonder if he's evil. Mortimer. Gee, mortician. How may I be of service, ma'am? I heard you're a group that dines on human flesh. Ah, 
Yes. I've heard that one too. Jealous people say such nasty things. I feel sorry for them. All I can think about is how your nose moves when you talk. I too know what it is like to feel the craving. How can I support your cause? Good. And you know what it is to be discreet in matters of nutrition. Perhaps you can help me. I'm in a bind. I've been planning an exquisite society dinner, but there's a bit of a problem with the main course. He's got a powerful and temperamental father. I see. The main course is a person? Yes, the wrong person. We scouted the right one for weeks, the heir to a mercantile empire. He cut ties with his family and left their estate to wander. He was ideal, corn-fed and well-to-do. But corn no one fed. would miss him if he were to disappear. <laughs> Unfortunately, the trap my subordinate set for him failed. And as he escaped, he saw their faces. I asked for a last-minute replacement, and they stole the son of the most dangerous Brahmin baron in New Vegas while he stayed at this very hotel. Needless to say, Can't have that. this could be a disaster if things aren't put back the way they should be. And I still need somebody reputable to serve for dinner. Strictly speaking, we're no longer allowed to eat people. But I'm hoping the right person and preparation might sway my... Tell me what I need to do. I need a replacement. And I need the boy taken care of. The replacement must be healthy and well-bred. With so little time... We'll have to go after our original choice, Carlisle St. Clair. If you could send him here or knock him out with this and drag him into the dumpster next to his... Okay. Not this one. Empty. And what would the point be, really? Who would pick up his trash if he used it? For <laughs> our purposes, True. It should keep his body safe and hidden until my cohorts can... What about the boy you kidnapped? Ted Gunderson is his name. It would be simplest if we could convince him this was all an unfortunate misun... But if he won't listen, we can't very well let him go. He'll have to be slaughtered and served. Then we would... But you would need to deal with his father, heck. Perhaps if you could smear some of Ted's blood around his father's hotel room... I'll do it. Splendid. I think I got all the information I need. Okay, now I can walk into the kitchen, no problemo. Is the kitchen? Of course not. It's in the Ultralux dinner hall area. The Gourmand. Okay, let me get uh, a sip of water. <laughs> I can use a snack while I'm at it. Squirrel stew it is. And I'm still thirsty. Jeez, how thirsty could I possibly be? Ugh, where's my water? Purified water. There we go. Now let's go and talk to our main courts. Maybe I'll do that later. I think I'm just gonna get uh, the heart I need. The human heart. Can't just be any heart. Though I suppose certain animal hearts do work to a certain extent. That actually is something true. Accessible. Nope, not what I'm looking for. Does it smell like human flesh? <laughs> Is Philippe down here? Why can I not find Philippe ever? Okay, stealth mode on. Yay! Human heart. If that was hurt, great, because I don't know. Great, I found the heart. I don't know how much longer she can last. Now, if I can't talk to Philippe, I can't get his recipe for Brahmin Wellington. Oh, wait, there it is. Never mind. Ah, uh, here it is. This is what I'm looking for. You. What do you think you're doing? You. What do you think you're doing? Oh, crud. 
I apologize for that. The game crashed. Such is a common occurrence in... When I have this many mods, I should say. Okay, and Mortimer wants to release the kid. If he'll cooperate, I'm a negotiator. I really like some of the attack phrases. What do you think you're doing? Trespassing? Hmm. Yes. He was none too pleased when he discovered who we took. Yes, yes, yes. See, I told him something believable. But now I quickly have to go and get my okay, Brum and Wellington. And, of course, naturally, Vanessa's heart. Is that on the heart? Don't know how much longer you can last. Uh-huh. You're pretty useful to me as of now. So I'm going to keep up with that. This is the room I'm looking for. Oven. Strange meat pie. Hello. Jackpot. It smells bad in here. Yes, it's not surprising. Yeah, I'm probably getting low on food to be honest. I probably uh, rob these guys blind. I think you'd have better quality food than this. Okay, any other food around here? Uh, let me grab some Brahmin steak. Is there any Brahmin steak around here? Dog meat, meh. Okay, I got all I need. Do 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 do. Just gotta sprint around here. Okay. And let's go find this uh German robot with the creepy name. Ah, that's stealing. <laughs> Okay. Jeez, this place is so big. Nine iron added. So next I just have to go meet the German robot. I kind of want to meet you there. Just lost a month's caps. Yes, indeed. What's my perception at? Four? Yeah, that's not enough. Wait, am I wearing my glasses? I've got a lot of clothing on me. Perception is not high enough. Not for that. But I'm gonna cut here until I get to the German robot. Because it is just far away enough to be annoying. Okay, see you in a second. And here I am. Cerulean Robotics. I don't care how it's pronounced. This is also where you find Fisto. Good old Fisto. Any pencils here? Ew, is that like a skull? Balls, stop pushing against me. Now this is a little bit glitched here. So we'll see how this works out. Okay, this thing... Does not sound German. It sounds Jamaican, if you ask me. I mean, heart surgery and maybe a breast implant, or maybe not. Wow. Yes, I am. I'm simply awesome. I haven't been my skin for such a long time now. 
It's not just me, right? He sounds Jamaican. Of course, I'm ready. I've always been ready. Where is the buggy? Fine, it's for Vanessa. Vanessa, come here, please. Perfect. Lay on that bed, Vanessa. And don't worry. Okay, that's not German at all. Human skull. I can't move. Well, I'm glad you didn't get naked because this is for YouTube. Are you just gonna stand there? Nope, she's moving. Hope this music isn't copyrighted. Amazing. Maybe I should make a little bit of noise. So that, uh... The music doesn't, uh... Copyright anything. Just a little bit of noise here. A little bit of noise. This looks and smell like yep, I'm just gonna make a little bit. Before. Yep, a little Delicious bit more noise. If you want to receive, it will be a pleasure to give it Great. To you. This isn't actual music. This is neither music nor radio. Well, crud, I guess I'm just gonna have to make a lot more noise. Like this. Awesome. Yes. True. Who does need a liver? You know who needs a liver? Anyone with an immune system. Or who oh, needs an immune system. Oh my god, I thought she just turned gray because she was dead. Really glad she's not dead. So, how do you feel? Oh, don't look at me like that. What do you mean? See, the re I finally figured out why Vanessa and... Vanessa and Rilo talk to you funny when you start chat with them. When you start chat with somebody, you don't say anything. You just look at them. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I've already done this before, I think. Didn't you uh, just get your heart transplanted? Or are you going to start a chat option with me? Are you going to do this? Maybe I should have quick saved. Now is not the best moment. Um... What's going on here? Yep, this is a problem. I uh, should have quick saved. Yes, I am. Of course, I'm perfect. So I gotta do this again. Maybe I'll just cut here until it works. What the hell is that shit? Yay! There we go. Do you feel better with your new heart? Well, it's better. Okay then, let's go have a drink. Oh, really? A drink? Oh, ow, 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 ow. Yep. Yeah. Be careful, let's have this drink, but don't move too much. I don't know what to say. Thanks, Six. For everything. Maybe I should just name myself Courier Six. I don't know, Psychopath doesn't really uh, roll off the tongue. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? Psychopath exactly rolls off the tongue. You know why? Because I've got a silver tongue. I've got proof right here. Silver tongued perk. Huh, I do not have as many companions as I did when I was testing all of this. Yes, I tested this quite a bit, in fact, to make sure that it worked. I don't want to walk around this whole thing. This place is very annoying. You have to walk all the way around this big old building to get here.
Fisto's really hard to get. You have to walk all the way around. Oh, yeah, and Vanessa's heart. Yeah, that's another thing in Cerulean Robotics. Evening. I don't know why I'm calling it Cerulean. Probably because when I was a kid, I watched Pokemon. There was like a Cerulean Plasma, City. Pistols, grenades. We yes. Got it all at the silver rush. Yep. I bet you do. Okay, a couple of beers. I hear Benny went missing. I can't help but wonder what happened to him. Oh, I know what happened to him. I know even more what's going to happen to him later. Cap. Oh, I thought I just crashed again. Oof, that was close. Just, uh... Two beers. And, uh, literally all of your whiskey. Now, what do you want from me? My soul? Cattle prod will do. And Pleasure exit. Doing business with you. Yup. Indeed. Did I, uh... Where's Vanessa? Vanessa? Didn't I get what I needed? Where'd Vanessa go? One second, please. Vanessa? Well, good thing I have this. A Volt 3 jumpsuit. Oh, also this. There we go. Am I wearing the right outfit? Indeed I am. I hate how it makes your hair short when you put on the hat. It's the only thing I don't like about hats. Really well, I also don't like other things about hats. You've made quite an impression on this trip. Yes. I bet I have. At least we made it another day. A beer. Cheers. What do you want to eat? So am I going to have room in the title to write? Classes, isn't it, Vanessa? Am I going to have room to write heart-shaped box in the title? Or should I just write Vanessa's heart? That sounds... That sounds better. A title really shouldn't have more than two words. So what, I'm not going to eat? I don't get to see myself eat it. That is the dumbest thing ever. Why do I even have this animations mod? This is really nice. Uh-huh. That's nice. You know, I like the atomic building. For people looking for a little peace and quiet, this is an ideal place. Indeed. Tell me about yourself. Myself? Well, let me see. I was born in Alfarca. Okay. Washington, D.C. Okay. D.C., really? Whoa, that is pretty far from here, isn't it? There I found friends, adventure, and money. But not my father or my sister. Okay. Then a friend helped me in my research, and we were able to locate her. Okay. So, I came back here. Okay. I won't lie. I miss D.C. But I love the Mojave. It's my homeland. Okay. So you have a sister? Yeah, I have a half sister. Same father, different mothers. Is she cute? Say, have you? And I just wanted to say that. The Grapes of Wrath. I haven't. Why? Have you read it? And I've always wanted to say that ever since Archer said it. On Archer. I'm just curious. Yeah. Then say something. Hate what? Actually, that is exactly what I was about to say. Uncomfortable silence. 
Why do we feel that it's necessary to yak about bullshit in order to be comfortable? I don't know. That's a very good question. Oh, but the answer is so simple. That's when you know that you found somebody really special. Okay. You can just shut the fuck up for a minute and comfortably share your thoughts. And it looks like I can... It shows? I have no idea what that means. Hey. You wanna fuck? Well, it looks like you're not giving me an option here. But whatever, it'll make her easier to manipulate. Because I'm the silver tongue psycho. I don't have any friends. I see the way you look at me. Up until I saw her. So. Do you want to? Yeah, okay. They have rooms for rooms here. I bet in places like this, you could really cut down on the pride factor. That's a good idea. Well, good, I stood up. Well, I can't show this because she's actually going to get Betty naked. Sorry about that. Annoying, right? Okay, I guess I have to order a room from her. She's clearly a smart one, judging by how he acts when uh, you get him Fisto. I hear you've been making a name for you. He's kind of dumb. Just a few caps? Here you go. Up the steps, last room on the left. If you leave the Wrangler, we'll assume you're... Okay. Yep. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Well, that's going to be it for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. The next episode will start once she's no longer naked. That's it for today, everyone. How's it going? Bye!